alert, alert. It's going down. It looks like the Colorado Buffaloes are moving to the Big 12. Yep. Special meeting happening um, tonight and uh, Thursday. And I'm assuming an announcement is going to come within the next couple weeks. So let's talk about Colorado coming to the Big 12. I'm being joined by my guy PG from the PG show. And we're going to talk through what it looks like for the Buffs being a Big 12 team now that Oklahoma and Texas are leaving. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you for pulling up here on the YouTube channel. If you like this content, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We would love to have you a part of this great college football community that we are growing. Almost at 10,000. And it'll, we'll get there because of you, the people. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Me and PG is going to talk about Colorado's move to the Big 12. All right, we got special guest Preston Gant from the PG Show joining us so we can chop it up. What's up, PG? What's going on? We got a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. We sure do, PG, and I appreciate you pulling up to the channel as usual. So let's dive right in first. Colorado is looking like they're destined to head to the Big 12. And so, PG, me and you have been covering Colorado, especially when Coach Prime got there. It's been an intriguing conversation that both of us have really wanted to talk about. And so, Pete Thamel from ESPN just reported that the uh, Colorado Buffs have met here on Wednesday um, to discuss potentially moving to the Big 12. And the Big 12 is supposed to have a conversation Wednesday night, which will probably happen after you see this video. And then later this week, they're supposed to be having discussions about Colorado is looking like they're destined to head to the Big 12. And so, PG, me and you have been covering Colorado, especially when Coach Prime got there. It's been an intriguing conversation that both of us have really wanted to talk about. And so Pete Thamel from ESPN just reported that the uh, Colorado Buffs have met here on Wednesday um, to discuss potentially moving to the Big 12. And the Big 12 is supposed to have a conversation Wednesday night, which will probably happen after you see this video. And then later this week, they're supposed to be having discussions about what to do to move forward. So, PG, I got to ask you, is this a smart move for Colorado to move to the Big 12? This is a 100% a smart move because the Pac-12 is dying, and I think we've all kind of understood that. In fact, there is an interesting picture that was posted by Brutus over at Ohio State putting his arm around old wacky duck out there at the Oregon, and you almost have to wonder, why in the world would Ohio State be posting something of the sorts? And I think it's all because Oregon and Washington probably on their way to the Big Ten. The Big Ten media days just happened. And uh, there could have been that something there. So the Pac-12 is dead. I think everybody expects that conference to disband. And I think we all expect the Big 12 to swoop in and pick up a couple teams. And if you're Colorado, you can come into a Big 12 that just lost their two superstars in OU and Texas. You've got your super superstar coach who let's be honest likely isn't leaving colorado unless it's for a big time blue blood power five job right. and they can potentially try to take over as a top three team over the next couple of years because if coach prime can sell the idea hey i'm going to be not only in the state of florida but I'm also going to be in the state of Texas, which I think they'd be there every single year. That's a nice sell to recruits. And I think it would definitely up Colorado on the recruiting trail, where right now you kind of see it be dead a little bit as they've just started to pick up a little bit of steam with Charles Lester. No, you're right. And that's a very intriguing point of getting back into the Texas recruiting that they used to do back in their Big 12 days. I mean, that was the one selling point that Colorado, I mean, not Colorado, but Nebraska lost the minute they went to the Big T. And most of the players Nebraska was pulling, not only in state, but they were getting Texas guys because they were guaranteed to be in state at least twice a year by the scheduling setup that the Big 12 had for them, or at least be close but at Oklahoma. And that's gone. They start to go into oblivion. And so Colorado, even though they had the California ties, losing USC and UCLA to me does hurt the appeal of some of those kids wanting to go to Colorado because if they play in California, it'll be Northern. You're going to Stanford. You're going to Cal, which Cal technically is in the around the corner from USC, but you'll have Cal and that's kind of it. And so 
that's a great point to really look at. And so now I'm looking at this. Colorado moving to the Big 12. What what would be left of the Pac-12 from there? Of course, we know they're going back to the Pac-10. They're going to have to probably adopt that name again. But what other team do you think makes the move? Is it going to be Arizona? Is it going to be Utah? Because I've heard of Arizona being one that's kind of, quote unquote, tied at the hip with Colorado. But what about Arizona State? And I think Utah, if they're smart, they'll make the move. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I think if you look at the Pac-12 and where these teams end up going, because I think this is very intriguing. There's been a lot of conversations, and we're going to start with Stanford and Cal, potentially not even being football schools anymore because they just don't make a lot of money. And their money for to operate these football programs was coming from the Pac-12 media deals. And likely, there's not going to be a conference, I feel like, that wants to take on Stanford and Cal. So Big 12, not going after those schools. Big 10 probably won't go after those schools. If you're the Big 12, you're trying to go after – Probably Colorado and Arizona because Arizona has been the school that's been rumored to want to leave the Pac-12 with Colorado if they decide to go to the Big 12. The question is, can Brett Yormark make a compelling pitch enough to Oregon and Washington to leave the Pac-12, not go to the Big 10, and come to the Big 12? If he can do that, I think that would be an extraordinary move and a move of the ages. I think we talk about all of these conference realignment moves. That might be the single biggest move because not only would you have lost your two biggest brands in Texas and Oklahoma, but you would have gained two. I mean, I'm not going to say they're equal footing to Texas and Oklahoma, but they're pretty close in terms of what we expect to see from them year in and year out in terms of the win and loss columns. So I'm not saying they get Oregon and Washington, but it would definitely be a good idea for the Big 12 as a conference to say, let's pay these guys a little more to come to the conference so that we can secure ourselves as one of the top three conferences in college football. But ideally, realistically, if you're looking at the biggest moves, it's going to be Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, and Colorado. And no okay. say Arizona State's because, well, they're tied at the hip with the Arizona. You would want to be able to keep that rivalry. And Arizona State actually, like I said with Colorado, might be able to gain a lot of traction. The reason being is they got a guy by the name of Rashad Samples out there this past year who is yeah. really tight with kids in the Dallas area. You put him in a position where he can recruit and say, we're going to play in Texas two to three times a year. <laughs> That's pretty hard for a lot of kids to say, no, I don't want to go to Arizona State. Hey, well, let's go ahead and pause this conversation because I have breaking news. Colorado is officially headed to the Big 12. It will be announced on Thursday evening, just posted by Brent McMurphy on the Action Network, that the Colorado is, a, 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 is going. They will receive the full Big 12 share of $31.7 million from the ESPN Fox Media deal, and they will be headed to the Big 12 officially Thursday evening. We'll see that announcement. Goodness, PG, we were just talking about this being a possibility, and now we get breaking news that it is going down. That was quick. That Mike, it was quick. You, that tells you <laughs> that the presidents really didn't even need to meet. They probably informally met on a Zoom or something. They didn't really need to meet because they probably talked about this at Big 12 Media Days. They probably and, knew this was coming down the pipeline. And I and this, I would, yeah, yeah. I would, this, this has been a conversation for a while, though. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this was a conversation for a while. And it's what cracks me up about this, and I think this is why I kind of want to say something, is they have been telling us that this is not going to happen for months since we're like early may they would say no no we're here with the pac-12 we're waiting on the media deal we're excited blah 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 and based upon this article Brittman murphy is saying that the instability of the pac-12 and the stability of the big 12 is what's leading them back and i'm gonna be honest this is the smartest move of the big 12 i've seen in a while but this because you're bringing in the biggest name in college football in Dion, C coach prime sanders right now while he's hot like he can have a blase season at Colorado next season, 2024, because that's when they're going to start playing, in 2024. So next season, they will be in the Big 12. Everyone's going to want to see what they're going to do in the Big 12. Everyone's going to be exciting. Recruiting is about to change for Colorado starting today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is definitely going to be intriguing to see what Coach Prime is able to sell. And what he and the thing is, a lot of people might say, well, oh, well, this just happened. No, this didn't just happen. This has been in no. the works for months. And every time they told you it's not happening, 
that kind of made you think it was happening. So there might have been a part of Coach Prime that was selling this to kids months ago on the recruiting trail. And it's going to be interesting to see, can Coach Prime pop off now? If the commitment of Charles Lester happens like we expect on Friday, can he potentially start to woo over other five stars, other top tier four-star players across the country. What we talked about, building the trenches, defensive linemen. Can he start to really intrigue a lot of those guys to want to come play at Colorado because you're going to stay in the Midwest. You're going to play a lot of teams in the Midwest. Your parents don't have to drive very far to watch you. And you're not going to have a huge time gap. You go out to California, two-hour time difference, not going to have that anymore. It's going to be intriguing. Yeah, I'm ready to see what recruiting looks like for Colorado going into this. And so um, keep your eyes open. I'm, we'll be dropping some more content on this. So, PG, thank you for pulling up on the channel. Please let the people know where they can find you. Y'all can find me, uh, the PG Show, on YouTube, uh, Apple, Google, or Spotify. Uh, we actually are doing a lot of our interviews first exclusively on Apple and Spotify. So if you want to get the first look inside of those, you'd head over to those platforms, and you guys will see those interviews there, and then a couple days later they show up on YouTube. But you want to be the first to hear them. You want to hear them first on the podcast platform, so head over there. But you guys can also find me at the PG Show underscore on Twitter, and you guys can uh, go back and forth and Tell me about how terrible my takes are. I'll say this. With the addition of Colorado to the Pac-12, y'all going to want to pull up to the YouTube video because we're going to have to talk about not only Colorado, we're going to have to talk about Arizona recruiting because I think Arizona is about to. Yeah, they're, they're, they're flying up. And so thank y'all for pulling up here to the channel. If you are new and you like what we just did, hit that like button as well. Subscribe. We would love to have you as part of this community. And uh, we'll chop it up, I don't know, in about a day or two. Peace. Peace.